Hey there, sign of cancer. My name is Kim. I'll do your reading for the weekly uh, January 25th through 29th, 2021. We're going to start off with uh, the archetype deck. Then we're going to draw a few more oracles. And then at the end, we'll see as we shuffle the tarot where it wants to land and what message it might have for you too, with tea leaves being very last. All right, so thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, uh, commenting, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all of you very much. And we're gonna start by asking for the divine white light to surround us as we do the reading, surround you as you watch this reading, calling in our angels, spirit guide, higher self, higher power, to give us messages that are for the greater good sign of cancer. And we will start. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on for you as we tap into your energy for the, the week coming up, the 25th through the 29th. All right, for Cancer, please. One more time. A little shuffle this way. The desert. Oh, that's so weird. No, really? Seriously? I mean, I've shuffled these. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's exactly the same as Virgos. Oh my gosh. Wow. We're going to see how close this reading is to being just like Virgos. This is crazy. The desert. Um, these were in the exact same position too. That's why I'm like freaking out right now. So the desert, uh, I describe as having writer's block in your life. Um, to see how your life's going to go forward. To see where you are, where you've been. Things are kind of muddled. We see mirages in the distance. It gives an illusion of something that's there that's really not and maybe that is the message. Maybe there's something that looks like it's there, but it's really not. All right, and then Kairos. Kairos is about um, synchronicities and signs coming into your life to hint at what direction you need to be going in, such as the sign with the desert. You know, how you are feeling lets you know if you're on your path or not. That's how wonderful emotions are for us. Um, when you're not feeling good about something and you feel rotten about something, it's because you're not really getting along with what your higher self feels. Has, as Because your higher self doesn't judge anything that you go through. And always looks at you as being worthy and um, a divine spark, you know, that you are to create whatever you want. So when we're not feeling good about ourselves, the reason it doesn't feel good is because that's really not the higher truth. That's just what emotion you're feeling in the human form. And I had a lot of more, a lot more information about how you are feeling about yourself and some kind of illusion. So the message is different than uh, Virgo's, but we can't ignore that those are the same cards that just came out. That's crazy. All right. All right, we're gonna um, shuffle Wisdom of the Oracle. And like I said, we're gonna grab some Oracle cards and then we will shuffle the tarot. See which ones fly out. All right, so let me put this over here and this over here. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so for Cancer, please, 25th through the 29th for Cancer. Something about a loyal heart. Something about having a loyal heart, being loyal to uh, somebody or some kind of commitment. There's something that's not for you. I think it's I think it's whatever this uh, desert thing is hinting to you as an illusion. Okay, so 
you see these these are kind of similar in color and I think they go together because I think Kairos is having synchronicities to tell you something like this that something is not for your highest good something doesn't serve you there's something that the reason it's not for you is because it's not on your high enough vibration whenever you're vibrating high and you feel good about yourself you can only really attract events and situations like that so if there's some that are going out of your life then that is why you want something to be on your vibration there is a loyal heart that gives me the sense that somebody might be sticking into something just because and and I'm talking about career or a relationship or buying or selling something big um, there's something you're staying in that's not adding not adding up but I don't think this is a surprise because I think the Cairo is um, showing you synchronicities and giving you signs all over the place all right so it's something you got to figure out because we have the chessboard on there that's a game all about strategy Okay, um, imagine this is about that first beginning of manifesting when you're able to think and visualize what you want. And the way that we get to this card to visualizing our manifestation is by experiencing contrast in life of what we don't want. That's how we know truly what we actually want. So these, you know, they have to come together in some sense. They do come together in life. And it makes sense them being together for you now. All right, let's move this over a little bit. And then let's get you some, let's get some spell casting cards. I think that should be enough. And they have confidence and trust in your higher self. Trust in your spirit guidance that you're getting. Trust in that. All right, for Cancer, please. 25th through 29th, January. For Cancer. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> I have protection. <sighs> ay, 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 ay. All right. So I'm going to take them because, you know, why not? Um, they did fly out. I wouldn't normally take this many, but there's a reason for everything. Okay. We're getting protection. I think we've been grieving about something and we are finding protection or closure. We're finding closure and this may be related to your career too. So we can lay it out like that. All right. And maybe it's protection. Um, maybe it's protection for your career. Let's put them like that. Protection for your career could be something like that. Grieving, of course, that can be mourning, but it can also be, it can be mourning anything. So it can be mourning um, a job loss. It can be mourning a career change. It can be mourning the end of a situation or, you know, a, just something that leads to a trans transition. Something that's changing. Change is usually uncomfortable, even if it's good. So we may be grieving some kind of change. But this is protection. You're getting protection over your heart and the fact that you are loyal and that that might be, that actually might be something that's um, kind of in your, I don't want to say in your way, but it, it might be if it's causing an illusion to be seen and not what really is real. All right, so we're going to get some tarot now and we're going to see what the tarot is going to say for you. Cancer, cancer, cancer. All right. All right, for cancer, what do we have? 
All right, so not for you protection and grieving. We have investing in something, not listening to other people. Perhaps, oh, this might be you. <laughs> because sometimes we don't listen to other people when there's something that's very evident to other people but not evident to you. This two of wands may be indicating a new job, new career, but it also indicates visualizing what you want, like the Imagine card. It's that beginning phase of manifestation, the vis visualization phase. All right, let's do some more tarot, please, for Cancer. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, this landed right beside this. I just wanted you to see that. That's really cool. All right, so there is some regret. I have this over grieving finding and career so there there may be some kind of um regret um it's a feeling of loss so it's a feeling of loss but it's also kind of one about beating yourself up when you really shouldn't this imagine the star coming right next to career lets me know that no matter what you regret, if it involves any of these things, you imagine your dreams and if it's your desire from your heart, and I'll recommend doing something that's for the greater good of everyone, and when you better yourself, then, then you're doing that. And the star, it represents everything coming true for you, your desires, your hopes, your wishes, all coming true in a progression so this it looks like this has to do with your career or your money all right let's get another card or cancer all right so so with the akairos and with the regret and hangman i would say you are waiting for a solution and it may involve your nine of pentacles. This could be a financial windfall, but it's something you're waiting on um, that will come and help you. Let's see, let's do this one more time. Then, uh, loyal heart, loyal heart. It says loyal heart and the desert and not for you. There's something with the four of pentacles that looks like you may be holding on to that's not for you. Um, the Six of Cups represents family ties, deep family ties, maybe even what you would consider to be a soulmate. Not really sure what's true and what's not true because it's just laying on the, what I consider the illusion card. Hmm. Well, you should have more information on this than I really do for you. Um, you should be able to look at these cards and get, get from it what you need to for you. Well, usually tea leaves fall all over the place. All right, more Cancer. Oh, nice. We're going to stop. <laughs> I always stop whenever it's looking really good. Horseshoe, good luck and bread period of prosperity and abundance I'm telling you it's right here it's what you're waiting on and it's going to come good luck good luck i love that good luck and then leg you will be stepping into a new experience after you get some closure with something and closure with this grief mourning you will be stepping into something brand new and looks like it's going to be exciting all right, Cancer, thank you so much for joining me. Um, join me for your next reading and have a lovely week. Sending love and light your way. Bye.